Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, here in this section we're going to continue talking about voltage dividers and we're going to talk about this circuit here which I think is an interesting circuit. The first time I saw a circuit similar to this it kind of took me back for a second. What you have is a voltage source. You have resistors that are known everywhere. This is you know 2 kilo ohms, 6 kilo ohms, 9 kilo ohms, 3 kilo ohms, right? And what you're asked to find is the voltage across this empty air here, basically, from this terminal between these two resistors to this terminal between these two resistors. And that knocked my socks off the first time I saw it because up until now, you're always been asked to calculate what's the voltage across this resistor, what's the voltage across that resistor, what's the voltage across this current source, and so on and so on. You're always measuring voltages across physical items. Here, you're asked to be measure a voltage across thin air, and so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But you have to realize that it's perfectly legal to find a voltage drop between any two points in space uh, at all. I mean, even if there's no circuit there at all, if you go back to physics and you go in deep space near a star or something, there's a potential here and there's a potential here, and you subtract the value. What's the potential here? What's the potential here? Subtract them, you get the potential difference between two points. Here, you obviously have voltages everywhere. There is a voltage drop across each one of these components, but if you take a voltmeter and you actually hook it up between these two points, there's a potential difference between these two points as well. And all it means is the voltage between here, there's no current going through here. There's no, there's no path to conducting a current. That's why it looks weird. But what it means is that between these two resistors on this side has a certain value of voltage. Between these two resistors on the other side has a certain value of voltage. And when I hook a meter up between them, I'm just subtracting the values. It's the potential difference between those two points. So our strategy here is going to be to figure out, if you think about it, and I'll blow your mind here in a minute with something else, if I can